Welcome to Lecture Online, and now our second example of how to apply Bayes' theorem is basically our first example, but changed a little bit. What we're doing here, again, is we're tossing a single coin. It can either come out heads or tails. If the coin came out heads, we'll pull a marble out of the first bag. If the toss is tails, we'll pull a marble out of the second bag. And notice that the first bag has two blue marbles, three red ones. The second bag has eight blue ones and two red ones. Now, Imagine that we have some priority knowledge about what the outcome was of the second event. Given that we pulled a blue marble out of one of the two bags, we don't know which one of the two, so event A is blue, then what was the probability that we threw heads and what is the probability that we threw tails on the coin? Well, Bayes' theorem should allow us to do that. So the probability of a1, so A1 is in this case tail, uh, no, heads, so the probability that we threw heads provided that we picked a blue marble, so A, event A is a blue marble, that is equal to the probability that we threw heads times the probability that we picked a blue marble provided we threw tossed heads divided by, and now we have to sum all of the possibilities up, so that would be the probability that we have heads times the probability that we picked a blue marble provided we have heads plus the probability that we have tails times the probability that we picked a blue marble provided we tossed tails. And that should give us the probability of having heads provided we pulled a blue marble out of one of the bags. Okay, so let's put some numbers in there. The probability of tossing heads is one out of two. The probability of picking a blue marble provided we had heads. So if we had heads, we picked a marble out of this bag. If it was blue, that is a two out of five chance to do so. Two out of five chances. Divided by, so the denominator would be, so the probability of, of uh, getting heads would be one half times the probability of getting a blue marble provided we have heads, which is the same as before. It would be two out of five plus the probability of getting tails, which is one half times the probability of pulling a blue marble in case we toss tails. So tails, we pull the mar marble out of here, and there's 8 out of 10 marbles, so that would be 8 over 10. Okay, simplifying that a little bit, okay, that cancels out, so this is 1 fifth divided by, that would be uh, 1 fifth plus, let's see here, that would be uh, 1 and 4, that would be 2 and 5, so that would be um, one-fifth divided by one-fifth plus two-fifths, that's three-fifths, which is equal to one-third chance. So the probability of, uh, let's see, of tossing heads, provided we pull the blue marble, is one out of three. Okay, now, what is the probability that we toss tails, provided we grab the blue marble out of the bag? And of course, logic to tell us that that should be two-thirds probability, so let's see if Bayes' theorem doesn't let us down on this one. So, the probability of getting tails times the probability of pulling a blue marble, provided we toss tails, divided by, and the denominator should look exactly the same as before, the probability of getting heads times the probability of getting a blue marble, provided we threw heads, plus the probability of tossing tails times the probability of, tossing, of pulling a blue marble, provided we tossed tails. Putting some numbers to this and see what we get. Probability of tails is one half times the probability of getting a blue marble provided we toss tails. So when we toss tails, eight out of ten are blue marbles, so we multiply this eight over ten. Divided by the probability of getting heads is one half times the probability of pulling a blue marble when we toss heads, that's two out of five. So you can see that the denominator should look exactly the same as before, plus the probability of tails is one half times the probability of getting a blue marble, provided we toss tails, which is 8 out of 10. And then simplifying that, notice that this is 1, this is uh, 4, that would be 4 tenths, that would be 2 divided by 5, that's 2 fifths. Here that cancels out, and here that would be 1, that would be 4, that would be 2 and 5. So you can see that we get 2 out of 5 in the numerator, divided by uh, 1 fifth plus two-fifths, that's three-fifths, three-fifths, which reduces to two-thirds. So, 
The answer is, yes, it looks like they add up to 1, which is what we expected. So the answer is, if we picked a blue marble, but we don't know what bag it came from, we just knew that we picked out of either bag 1 or bag 2 a blue marble, the probability of having tossed heads is 1 out of 3, and the probability of tossing tails is 2 out of 3. And that's how Bayes' theorem is used in a very interesting way. That's how we do that.